A major study was published in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, called it a meta-analysis. And a meta-analysis is a study of studies. It's a summary of multiple studies that have been asking generally the same question. And this meta-analysis was asking the question, does giving omega-3 fatty acids to people or a placebo, an inactive uh, comparator pill, does giving omega-3 affect anxiety, measures of anxiety? And what they found in these, I think it was like 19 studies pooled together, that uh, those people who were given omega-3 actually had less anxiety. Uh, and I think the dose over 2,000 milligrams a day of EPA, DHA was where it was clearest that there was a benefit of omega-3 on anxiety. When we talk about omega-3 and anxiety, there was a very interesting study done in children who had mood disorders and they were um, also given omega-3, about 1.6 grams a day, um, and then tested for anxiety measures. And again, those children who were given the omega-3 uh, did better on the anxiety scores than those who were on the placebo medicine. Again, linking higher omega-3 uh, to better uh, mental function, cognitive function, better mood. Uh, in, in this study, they didn't measure omega-3 levels, but we know from hundreds of other studies that every time you give omega-3 supplements, you raise the omega-3 index. So we can infer that a higher omega-3 index was associated with better cognitive function, in, particularly in anxiety. We did a study uh, when I was doing research in Kansas City with about 750 patients who had been admitted to the hospital with a heart attack. And we measured their level of depression with the classic uh, depression scale and we also measured their omega-3 index. And what we found was those who had the lowest omega-3 index were much more likely to have high depression scores. So that certainly linked low omega-3 with depression. A uh, similar study was done in Germany. Um, totally different population, same outcome, higher omega-3, lower risk for being depressed. And finally, there was a uh, a very interesting study in patients who were considered at ultra high risk for becoming psychotic. And in that study, again, same story. When they measured omega-3 levels, they found that those who were at the highest risk for be transferring into a psychotic state, um, they had the lowest omega-3s compared to people who had high omega-3 that were lower risk for actually becoming psychotic. So th there's good evidence, even some meta-analyses of multiple studies that show at the end of the day, higher levels of omega-3 are associated with reduced risk for depression.